But yeah, so uh, until recently, the replace, replaceable forest license gave a forest company the, you know, the, I guess the belief that they had a secure fiber supply predicated on the annual allowable cut. And what's changed is now the government's intention is to, you know, to reduce those, those forest licenses and give that volume to the First Nations. And that's, you know, and so that creates a lot of uncertainty because you take away, you know, again, 15, 20% of your harvest uh, and you give it to the First Nations. Well, how do you know that that, that nation isn't going to give it to their, you know, to your competitor? or decide not to harvest it, uh, you know, any of the wood itself, themselves. Okay, one step back then, talking about the uh, thinning and, and managing the forest, that if you have a forest license that is volume-based, you know, then there is no particular incentive on the part of the one that is managing or taking forest from that area to put capital in because yeah. somebody else will benefit yeah, from yeah. it. Why would they? So, they, so they, they would just focus on what the legislation said as far as their minimums, you know, minimum stocking levels and, and minimum Not go management. beyond that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, which, uh, which to my point is that if we had uh, area-based uh, tenure, then the likelihood is more money will be invested in uh, harvesting and growing of timber that's pretty much proven by people like Dunkley yeah. that have small licenses and some other ones. So, so that is the one and, and that uh, would likely benefit in a way. And then the other part is that First Nations by law now and by uh, the, the uh, United Nations designation. De yeah, Declaration of, of uh, Rights of Indigenous People, which, of, which BC adopted. Yeah. Adopted means that a couple of things that uh, that First Nations needs to be consulted. It used to be on any investments or changes that are made, but now it has changed. Must give consent mm -hmm. to changes that are being made. Plus, they have access to a portion of the annual albuca is what is it 12 percent well yeah that's increasing the intention yeah. is to get up to 20 percent up I, to 20 percent that's the the government's intention so if that were the case and we look again at the 50 million cubic meters that used to be as part of government the ministry of yeah. forest and then uh, and tenure holders that likely will be reduced by 10 million uh, 20 percent now we got 40 yeah. and then but the, but just because it's been reduced to give to you know to first nations doesn't mean it's still not available the problem is is that there's it's uncertain and it comes back to the uncertainty so you know you get uh, you know let's say i'm uh, i'm running a forest company and uh, and i want to access a, a valley which you know some first nation has uh, control of that you know the tenure in that or the the, the rights to that area well, I have to build a road or and possibly a bunch of bridges in there and that's you know and so I get my you know I spend you know four or five million dollars to build a forest road put my bridges in but there's no certainty that I'm actually going to be able to harvest in there because you know that's a couple of years down the road before I you know first I got to get the road permit that's going to take me a year dealing with government you have to invest in a mill yeah two hundred million dollars or whatever it is 